So I was asked a Fusion 360 question the other day. And the question was, how do I create a hole in a, in a model and then duplicate that hole in a circular pattern? So if I want six holes in a circular pattern, how do I do that and make sure all of the holes are equally spaced and centered on the object? So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So in Fusion 360, let's start off by creating a sketch with the sketch tool. We're going to select this ground plane. We're going to go up to create and under polygon, we're going to select inscribed polygon. Then we're going to go down here and we're going to select this origin. We're going to slide our mouse straight up. So let's say we want it to be uh, one inch. All right. I'm going to hit the tab key. We're going to keep it at a six sided polygon for this one. And then I'm going to hit enter. Now let's make it a 3D object by hitting the Q key and selecting the sketch. And then we're going to slide it out to about right here and select OK. So now you can see we have a 3D object here. So let's go ahead and put a hole in the object. We're going to select the top of the object. We're going to hit C for circle, and then we're going to keep it on this uh, line here again so that we know that it's equal distance from here and here. So we're going to keep it right here on this center line. We're going to make a hole right there, and we're going to slide it out. We're going to say 0.2 for the diameter of this hole. Hit Enter, and then we're going to hit the Q key again. We're going to select that circle we made. We're going to fly around to the bottom of the object and select the bottom of the object so the cut is made all the way through the object. And the reason why I do it like this is because if I move this face down or up and make this uh, shape a little thinner, that hole also goes with it. Same thing with the top. So that's the reason why I do that. Okay, I'm going to go to the top view here. Now we want to duplicate this hole all the way around this object as many times or as a few times as we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the create panel up here and we are going to come down here to the pattern tool and we're going to select circular pattern. Object type is going to be face. So we need to select this whole face here. It's, the next thing is it's going to ask, ask us to select the object. So this is the object that we're cutting. And then it's going to ask us to select the axis. The axis that we want to go around is uh, the axis that's going up and down, this green one right here. So we're going to select this axis. I'm going to go back to the top view so you can see these three. And you see this number three here. It's making three for us. If we change that to, say, six, then we get six holes evenly spa spaced in a circular pattern. We want to keep this at three for this example. And then we'll hit OK. And you'll see now we have, we have three holes. We know they're equally spaced. We know that they are sitting in the same spot for each corner, the same distance from the edges, and it's perfectly symmetric. And that's it. If you like this tutorial, please let me know by hitting that like button. And if you like tutorials like this, um, especially into, if you're into Fusion 360 and quick tutorials like this, uh, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. And as always, thank you for joining me in Gorilla Shop.